Hi everyone, today I would like to introduce the site which is called classtools.net and I would like to focus on the random name picker application that is available on this site. It has a lot of really neat and cool uh, applications that you can use in your classroom. Let's focus on the random name picker. As you can see here, you can see the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the most amazing thing about the site is the fact that you don't have to log in, you don't have to sign up for the site, you just uh, type in random name picker um, in Google search and you can easily find it. Now, I'll, I would like to edit my, um, my wheel. So I click on edit and then as you can see here, I have names of students. Now, one way that I can use it is to have this list of students for me. So I can pick a student to answer a question in class, to read a text, to, uh, to do a certain task in class. Now, once I click on the wheel, Okay, yes, uh, we can see that Sonny has to answer the question or to do the certain task in class. Now, we will have a chance to talk again or to participate again, and I would like to give other students a chance to, to do so. So I can have the option of removing her. So I will remove Sonny. And I have this wheel again, which I can spin, and then I can choose the name of the student. Now. Other things that I can do with it is instead of having the names of students, I can have questions. I can type in questions um, around the topic of personal information. How are you? How old are you? Really basic questions. Once I'm done with this, I can sub submit the questions and then I can spin the wheel and it will stop at a certain question and the students has um, one of the students has to answer it. Now, uh, make sure that the questions are not too long, just like I did right here. Write really short questions that you can use in class. Now, you can use it for teaching literature, for example. You can ask the students about the characters in the story. You can ask the students about the setting. You can ask the students about different literary elements that you're teaching in class. You can use it for to check um, comprehension, main idea, uh, you can do, use it for a lot of things. Another cool idea where you can use it is that you can have lists of topics. Okay, so I can choose a list of topics depending on the level of my class. My dream, my favorite, my favorite food, my favorite uh, friend, because these are the topics that uh, our students like to talk about. Uh, my favorite season click submit and then i have the list of topics once i click on the wheel it will spin and it will stop at a certain topic students can write about the, this topic they can talk about it in front of the classroom you can give them a 30 seconds challenge where they have to uh, talk about the topic that appears on the wheel of fortune they have to talk about it and you can put a timer so it, you can make it much more uh, engaging. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split screens. So I'm going to make this screen smaller and I'm going to open a different screen. I'm going, I'm going to make it smaller as well. And uh, as you can see here now I have two uh, wheels of fortune. In this wheel, I have the names of the students. Here, I have the name of the topic. Now, once I click here, I'll get the topic. And once I click here, I get the list of students. So, okay, so it's sunny day again. And once I click on this wheel, I have the topic that Sonny has to talk about. I can remove Sonny and I can remove this topic and we can continue on, or maybe Sonny can talk about this topic, Sonny can uh, write about this topic, 
and this can create a fun and engaging atmosphere in your classroom. Another great thing that I wanted to show you before this video is over is how you can save this so you can use it again. Let's say I would like to use this wheel again. So I click on edit and save where I edited this list. And then I click on save this list as currently shown. I click here. And then I have to provide a password, any password that I can think of, something that I will probably remember later on. Whenever I want to edit this wheel, it's going to be easier for me to do so. So let's uh, choose this passport. I click OK. And I, as, I, as you can see here, it was successfully saved. At the top here, I, I have this um, the address. So I can copy the address. I can save this. And so whenever I want to edit it again, I just simply click on Edit, and then I can add it, I can edit it again. I can also embed it on a certain site, which is super cool as well. Whenever I want to start a new one, I click on new. Okay, so if you find the site useful and you think that this is something that you can actually use in class, don't forget to leave a comment under uh, the video. I would love to hear about it. Uh, and if you have any other cool ideas where you can use Random Name Picker, I would also love to hear about it as well. Feel free to share it with other teachers and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum everyone.